Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and today I'm taking a look at the AMX50 Fosh again because I need to get the point across here. I did a clip yesterday about, yes that, this thing's ability to take hits and this video pretty much is the epitome of evidence for this thing being able to take damage. Now as I said in yesterday's clip, um, it was only it was less than four minutes long. It was a very short clip. I took twenty four shots, no penetrations. Um, only one of them damaged my transmission, I think. But other than that, all I did was get my tracks blown off, and uh, have shots bounce off the front of my armor. Now, the front of the AMX fifty Fosh's hull is equivalent to three hundred millimeters of armor. That's a T ten I've just bounced. That's another T ten I've just bounced. Or is that an IS six? That isn't. That was an IS six. <laughs> it was an IS six. Uh, what have we got coming around the corner here in front of me? I think that's a T10, isn't it? I don't know, I can't tell, there's smoke everywhere. That looks like a T10, that is a, that's either an IS-4 or an IS-3 or a T10. That's an IS-3, right. So I didn't get as badly up tiered as I assumed, but those are very, very good Soviet heavy tanks right in front of me. Punch, get a critical shot through the turret front of the IS-6. The IS-3 can't penetrate me, so I'm not even too bothered about him. Even with his post post-war uh, armor-piercing shells. Honestly, man, the frontal armor on this thing is utterly unbelievable. But do you know what I love about it? It's not overpowered. Although the armor is ridiculous, it's nice and refreshing to have a tank destroyer that's reasonably mobile, well-armored, at least at the front, but I'll get onto that in a minute, and with an amazing gun. You can really, you really can use this thing as an assault gun, which is basically what I'm doing here. This is something you used to be able to do with the Jag Tiger, but the Jag Tiger is not quite the beast it once was. It's still good, don't get me wrong, it hasn't been nerfed or anything, but it's not quite as impressive as it used to be. It's still got the armour, but once the British got added with their APDS, it sort of... I don't know, it sort of fell out of fashion. This thing, though... I mean, you can't even argue it's overpowered. The side armor is not great. I mean, it's flat at the sides. It's flat at the top, so it's an e easy roof target. Um, the gun has, on my setup at the moment, a 19-second reload for a 120mm gun. It's basically the same gun as you get on the M103, which is quite long. But then if you can afford to sit in front of two IS-6s and an IS-3, like I just did, bounce their rounds, patiently reload, and then kill two of them and get an assist on the other you can't really complain about that too much I suppose um, and then we get onto the fact that that was at point blank range this thing would be unbelievable at long range if you can learn to fire that 120 millimeter gun and get hit at maybe a kilometers range you're gonna be laughing I will be doing a review of the Fosh at some point but this just this tank man honestly I'll be honest, as much as I play top tiers more than I play lower tiers, I do tend to lose money, I'd say, 3 out of 5 games I play at BR 7.7 .7 or higher, I lose money. Not a lot, but I do lose money. Since I've unlocked the Fosh, I haven't even played my AMX 30. The AMX 30 has become my backup, and the, AMX, the 50 Fosh has become my primary. This thing is utterly ridiculous, and I adore it course that doesn't stop me from making mistakes there's an su-12254 in front of me and an object 120 yet i'm more concerned about the t44100 punching me in the rear but he doesn't even know i'm here and he gets taken out as i turn around and then karma hits me i haven't got a fire extinguisher yet and i'm out of the match but thankfully i did have a backup vehicle um I pushed up this flank once again, I went the same way, recapped the zone because the, the T44-100 decapped it. And I was expecting the SU-12254 to still be set up here, along with the Object 120, which got taken out earlier. I got a kill assist for that. But, all of their vehicles have been taken out, so... It's back to the hangar to see how well I did. First place on the team, one cap, two kills, four assists, and one death. This really is an utterly amazing vehicle, and you guys need to check this out, seriously. If you're not grinding the French, grind it for this thing. Not the bloody AMX-50 with 120mm, not the AMX-30B2 or the AMX-30-1972, grind it for this thing. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching the video, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, share and subscribe for more.
Peace.